Hello everyone, this is Tan here and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video. This time around it's the ARX-160 gameplay and I'll be giving you some tips on how to use this rifle. So waste no more time, let's get started here. It's a 3 round burst weapon, damage output is moderate, um, range in game it's described as best in class. However, I don't have a number of sorry number blur number of stats with me. I don't have paper of numbers written down or anything like that. So I really don't know about damage range or anything like that. So this t uh, this tip video is purely based on my experience. So yeah, um, it's a three round burst weapon. So people may think that it's you can get um, one burst kill if all shots, three shots, connect to a target close to mid-range. Um, in the case of this rifle, the ARX, you want to think uh, differently because it's not always the case. Um, in most cases, you need more than one burst to get a kill with this rifle at close to mid-range. Unless one shot goes to the head, then it's a one burst kill, even at long range. At long range, you will need more than one burst to kill always unless you strike the opponent you know in the head even with one shot it will be a one burst kill so for the general rule of thumb you want to fire more than one burst no matter what because it's unreliable and it's best to do it this way because you never know if you you think you can get one burst kill with this weapon even if your accuracy is good but you never know now, um, it's not terribly that bad to really fire multiple bursts um, with this rifle though. And it's quick, this rifle is really quick though. The fire rate within the burst is high. But the overall output is low because of the burst delay. However, the burst delay is short, shorter than the IMR. So you can quickly fire multiple bursts onto a target downrange fairly quickly. Also, the recoil is low, which means that you can do this at even long range and be able to secure, um, secure a kill fairly quickly. So, similar to Shaikam CQB, don't be afraid to fire so many rounds, so many bursts, just fire a lot downrange until you uh, get a kill with it. Um, sadly, it, it, does, it, it has a burst delay, unlike Shaikam CQB, where it, it has no burst delay. So, be careful with that. But it's a short one, so you know you just, you just need to really fire a lot and a lot, which is fine. I mean that's fast, that's good. So that way your output is somewhat um, more consistent than you know the ones with the IMR where it has longer burst delay. Now when it comes to play style, um, if you just start out using this rifle, then you want to play in more defensive style. Just you know hang back a little bit, don't go way too aggressive, grab cover so that way you can take more time on you know taking down enemies at mid to long range and this is where the rifle is um, is best used for you know mid to long range overall. Grab some cover, play in more defensive style, play domination and then just simply uh, take down any enemies at mid to long range from at whatever from mid to long range blah 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 blah. <sighs> Now, for the case of attachments, you can use just one, and the optical attachment will be the best. Um, any one that, any choices that you want, I'm using the red dot, and it's good enough for most engagements because, for some reason, I love to use this rifle in semi-aggressive style, but not so much like rushing SMGs or anything like that. Overall, one attachment is more than enough with this rifle. Just the red dot or even the hybrid side, it's more versatile, so it can adjust between uh, the engagements, you know, differ from close to long range. Um, if you want to use another attachment, then um, I guess quick draw grip, the one I'm using right now is good, so it can snap onto a target um, fairly quickly. Otherwise, um, there's really almost nothing else that will be, you know, so useful. Um, as the red dot or any optical attachments to improve your uh, accuracy so you can see your targets easier than you know the emboss sight the iron sight I mean sorry <laughs> I'm used to that uh, rhino emboss sight magpul whatever that's on the ARX 160 
um, for the perks, um, since you're gonna fire this weapon a lot, and you're gonna burn a lot, and you're gonna run out a lot, Scounder will be a good choice. And toughness too. Toughness, so that way you flinch less when you take any incoming fire, so that way you can stay on target. Because this is a weapon of precision, and you need you need to have good accuracy. But in most cases, you end up getting, you know, flinch, flinch, flinch from bow 27, and you don't want that to happen. All right, last thing here. Um, I know there's a rumor that um, the Elite variant of the ARX-160 can achieve one burst kill anywhere to the body and any range. It has to be the Elite version. I think it's called Steel Bite or something like that. I think there's two of them that increases damage. One of them, sorry. So I'm not sure about that because I don't have it yet. But once I have um, the Elite version of the ARX-160, I'll make a video of that later on. Alright, so that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Friendly XS1 Vulcan inbound. System hack. Enemy HUDs have been disabled. Securing Alpha. Losing C. We lost C. A, secure. Securing C. C, secure. Losing Alpha. Enemy taking B. We lost Alpha. We lost Bravo. Enemy has B. Care package inbound. A, secure. Friendly UAV above. Housing gunship ready. Headshot. Walking care package warden. <laughs> Most turrets ready for deployment. Paladin dropping in. Recon drone activated. Securing B. Enemy taking A. Friendly bombing run incoming. Enemy taking charge. We lost A. We lost C. A, secure. B, secure. C, secure. Sentinel. 